Citizens of Super Earth, I welcome you to a brand new video on Helldivers 2. We've just had a patch that has just gone live in the last hour, so we are going to have a quick talk over it and see what's new in this patch. So hit that thumbs up, smack that subscribe button, and let's get on with spreading democracy. Today's patch is dealing with the spawn rate of heavily armoured terminid enemies, as well as the possible play against them. It also contains some fixes to UI elements and crash fixes. Now, obviously the big one is the enemies for the balancing. The amount of heavily armoured targets that spawn on higher difficulties, especially for terminates, have been a big discussion point online and internally. The intent is for groups to have to bring some form of anti-tank capability, but not to the degree previously needed. To that end, we have reduced the spawn rate of charges and the Bile Titans on difficulty 7 and up. In addition, we have reduced the risk of spawn spikes of charges and Bile Titans. So with that one, obviously, we're no longer going to get 8 or 10 charges or Bile Titans at any one time, which is always a good thing. Please note we have changed the distribution of enemy types, not reduced difficulty. Expect other enemy types to appear in greater numbers instead. Yeah, that's a bit of a given, I understand that one. Now we go on to the charges leg meta. We are humbled by the community's ability to find things like charges leg meta in our game. However, spending your heavily anti-tank weapons on legs instead of the obvious weak points seem counter to expectation. We are not changing anything regarding the charge's legs, we are however lowering the health of the charge's head. It should now be at a point where a well placed shot from a recoilless rifle or the EAT-17 instantly kills a charger. Now I know this is one of the big things that people have been going on about, myself included on Reddit, because you could be shooting at the head with a rail gun or a machine gun or a shotgun, and even with a recoilless rifle, it's just not killing them. But with this now a well-placed one, hopefully that works better. Together with the unfortunately undocumented change of last patch that increased the armor penetration abilities of less well-placed shots for each 17s and the recoilless rifle shots, charges should now be easier to handle by well-equipped groups. They've also got down here for gameplay, as you can see, electronic countermeasures, the operation modifier, which had a chance of giving you a random stratagem instead of the one you input, has been removed in order to be reworked and will be reintroduced in a future iteration. We found that this modifier wasn't communicated clearly enough and overall caused more frustration than excitement with the way it was currently implemented. As you can see, this change was made in the last patch. Now we got a few fixes here, but we also still got some known issues. Fixes. Fit missing text on several uh, heads up display and UI elements, several subtitle voiceover mitch matches in the news videos, and they fixed various crashes that occurred mid gameplay and when deploying to missions. Yeah, for myself, that one has happened so many times. Since the last update, I don't know, I've probably got about 80 to 100 hours on this game at this moment in time, and I will say, in the last week and a half, I have just been going in getting stuck at the dropping in scene. Halfway through a gameplay, I just get kicked. And it's not uh, people kicking me because I've been the host and my friends are just like, what's going on? Where are you? And the game has just crashed. Before that though, fingers crossed, we do get some other things to go for it. But as you can see by there, these are the known issues. And again, some of them are still there, but you know what though? We'll see how it turns out. And I will leave the patch notes for you down below in the description box. Let me know what you think about this, fellow Helldivers. Let's keep spreading democracy.